random reviews issue one so random reviews is where I pick out a movie from my collection up there it's just uh, it's a random movie that's why it's called random movie reviews so I thought today I do die hard <laughs> Bruce Willis, Ellen Rickman, and that. Um, and yes, you know it's slim pack, but also interesting. Two disc in a slim pack. But yeah, you probably already guessed it's part of the Die Hard Four trilogy. You can see up there, uh, yeah, eight disc edition includes all four films. I've had this quite a while now. I never got around to show that, I don't think. Have I showed it? I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah, all oh, actually, uh, since I'm gonna be reviewing, okay, I'll be reviewing all the Die Hard movies. But, um, since this is the first one, I'll just give you a tour of the box. Well, they actually all come. I should get on to the movies. I mean, to the first one. Because this is what we're reviewing. But, uh, this movie is directed by John McTiernan, who also directed Predator and The Hunt for Red October. And he directed, um, part, Die Hard 3 as well. But, um, he also directed a lot of movies. And, um, yeah but uh, this movie has a lot of special features wait first well since th I showed you everything of the DVD I'll just talk about the movie and see what I think of it sorry uh, so basically what it's about is Bruce Willis plays a cop called John McClane and his wife played by Bonnie Bedelia, Bedelia, Bonnie Bedelia, I don't know, but her her name's Holly McLean, and her, his wife Holly McLean um, works at the Nakatomi Plaza, and um, John McLean's gonna go there and you know take her home I think, and uh, but then before he he's in he's in the Nakatomi Tower, and um, then these terrorists, a terrorist, played by, uh, named Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman, who's, who plays Snape in all the Harry Potters, and the, and Judge Turpin in Sweeney Todd, uh, he, t he, and a bunch of other terrorists, uh, come to take over the Nakatomi Plaza, uh, Bruce Willis escapes and tries to hunt them down. That's basically it. And he starts killing them all off. And at the end, John McClane saved the day. But, um, this movie is my favorite out of all the diehards. Um,. It was made in 1988. It's 126 minutes long, aka 2 hours and 6 minutes. Um, 
And if I nothing. But um Yeah, as I said, if you're gonna pick up this edition, you'd be glad because like they're all it has a bunch of special features. All 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 that's the special features. That's oh wait, that is for disc one and all of this is for disc two. This maybe is ten out of ten for me. Five out of five. You know, six out of six, I'm gonna say oh I don't care. Yeah. But um yeah, it's brilliant action, brilliant acting, brilliant, brilliant plot. Everything you would, uh, you, everything you would want from a movie. Uh, this movie got Bruce Willis into the acting role he is now, with great films that he acted in, such as Sin City, Pulp Fiction, Unbreakable, All the Diehards, uh, Twelve Monkeys. Fifth element, um, the one that was just released on DVD, surrogates. Um, yeah, and he he, there's a movie in cinemas now that he's in called Cop Out that I really want to see. I'm I'm so looking forward to that. I'm gonna see that definitely sometime, and I'll put up a review of it. But um. This, if it wasn't for Die Hard, Bruce Willis not be as big as he is now. So thank God for Die Hard. So yeah, that's my review on Die Hard. Stay tuned. Keep an eye out for the for my review of all the other Die Hards. Bye.